Okay, so I'm not sure you can really see this from far away, but this is, if you go under the EPA.gov uh, and you look at Appendix K, you will have a full listing of all the sporicidal agents available on the market, okay? And so you have Pericef, you have Paradox, you have Oxicide, you have Steriplex, and you also have bleach. Now, each, in each case, you'll notice that the Pericef is 7.3% peroxide, Paradox is 24% peroxide, Oxicide is 27.5% peroxide with peroxidic acid and a, and acetic acid. Let me tell you something. That stuff really smells. Okay. And if you're going to use this, you've got to be, you have to be really careful. Okay. And then you have uh, your Steriplex, which is silver, hydrogen uh, peroxide, which is 22%, peracetic acid, uh, and other agents. So again, when you buy a disinfectant, please know what you're buying. Please understand the relative concentrations of the active ingredients. Make sure that you're preparing the dilutions according to specs, because you really could put people in harm's way. Okay, these 22% peroxide is not a small amount of peroxide. Uh, some companies are using 35% peroxide. Bleach, now bleach is one of those difficult things. Okay. What's the dilution you're supposed to use for bleach for almost everything? One to 10, right? What does that stand for, really? Yeah, but what did you start with? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the active ingredient? OK, so sodium hypochlorite that you buy in the grocery store versus what you buy in the hardware store versus what you buy from your pharmaceutical distributor, are they the same? No, they're not, okay? And I, I really fuss with CDC because they say a one to 10 dilution of bleach is, is sporicidal or it's going to be effective against whatever bug you want to throw at it, okay? The point is, is that you've got to go with parts per million. You've got to know what you start with. So if, if you have 5.25% you can put that in your calculator on your, on your iPhone, and it'll tell you how many parts per million. Well, percentage and parts per million are actually the same. So that is 5,250 uh, parts per million. OK? Well, 5,500 to 10,000 is about what you need to kill spores. But again, people make a 1 to 10 dilution, and they have no clue as to what they're using. Okay, so again, check your bottles, make sure you know what you're starting with before you make your, your working dilutions. Bleach is only good for the, for the hour that you made that dilution. Okay, it is not stable. It will not stay uh, potent. Okay, so you want 5,500 to 10,000 parts per million of sodium hypochlorite. Now, many of your disinfectants, once diluted, are only good for 24 hours. Okay? So one of the things you have to do is make sure that you're dating your spray bottles and making sure that it's appropriate and they're not past their, uh, the 24-hour period. How many of you knew that? Yeah? It's, it's, a big, it's a big thing for us because, you know, the EVS staff doesn't want to go and change all the bottles, right? You've got to date those bottles. Joint Commission comes around and sees an outdated bottle. They're not happy. <laughs> 